today is just a little introduction to SD cards and using SD cards for filming with your DSLR. If you're filming HD video on a DSLR, you need a certain level of SD card in order for the video to record continuously. So what I have here is two different brands. I've got a SanDisk and a Transcend. These are the two brands that I use. There are a lot of brands out there. The key here is that you get a class six or higher. So you'll know it's a class has a little C around the number. And that's the official, lets you know that it's officially certified as a class six or 10. I use class 10 cards. They're a little faster when you take them from the card and put it to your computer when you transfer it over. But class six will record HD video. So a lot of people buy SD cards, they buy the wrong one and their video stops after a few seconds of recording and they wonder why. Well, their SD card is too slow. It can't keep up with the high bit rate of the video that's going through. So you can get a SanDisk for all kinds of great prices. You can get Transcends, which are pretty much the cheapest cards that are reliable. I've been using Transcends for a long time. They're a great sort of secondary. You've got the top of the line SanDisk and you've got this sort of secondary brands uh, like Lexar and Transcend. I like the Transcends. I can always find a good sale on them. Check the links in the description of this video and I'll list some links to both of these types of SD cards that I use. These are both 16 gigabytes, but the one that's in the camera right now is a Transcend 32 gigabyte. So you can buy these depending on your camera. These are SDHC, so SD high capacity cards. Some of the newer DSLRs can shoot SDXC, which is extra capacity. If you watch my other video about the 12 minute limit on Canons, that is the camera, not the SD card. So just because you have 16 or 32 or 64 gigabyte card doesn't mean you can record continuously and fill up that card. Every 12 minutes on most of these DSLRs, some of the higher end DSLRs can do a half hour. Your video is going to stop. Automatically, the camera is going to stop it and you have to restart and hit record again. And, it, and it's going to be a break in your frame there as, or as quick as it takes you to hit record again. So it helps to record either with two cameras to defeat that. Uh, there is firmware you can put on your camera called Magic Lantern that'll help defeat that. But I'm dealing pretty much with the native functionality of the camera, just as you get it when you buy the camera. And so in that case, 12 minutes. So check out the video of the 12 minute limit and I'll explain a little bit more about that. So the extra capacity allows you to put more clips, more 12 minute clips or however long your camera records onto one single card. Now, sometimes you may want to consider, do I want to put my whole day of shooting on a single SD card? So maybe you want to get a couple 16 gigabyte cards and transfer, you know, record on one and then record on the other so that you don't have all your eggs in one basket, so to speak. Okay. But that's just a personal decision and a workflow, however you want to do it. The key is you need a class six or higher. Again, I use class 10 and I tend to use about 16 and 32 gigabyte cards. And those will be in the description as links. Now another key, sometimes people, and I've seen in the comments, say I start the recording and a few seconds later it stops. Well if they have the correct SD card, I'm not quite sure what creates the problem, but it becomes sort of gunked up, okay? It needs to be reformatted, that's the key. So get all the media that's on your SD card off of it. And I suggest this really before every shoot. You should probably do this. Clear off your card, back it up, do whatever you want to do with that footage, and then reformat the card inside the camera. The camera itself does the best job of cleaning off the card. And that's the only thing that's jamming up your card. That's why it's stopping after a few seconds. And you get this little meter on the camera that says it's buffering, buffering, and it, it can't keep up. And you can simply fix that by putting the card in, going to the format option, and reformatting. Again, make sure you have the stuff that you want off the card off of there. And that should clear up your problem. So if you're having a problem where your SD card is Stopping after a few seconds of recording, first of all, make sure you have the right SD card, class six or higher, and then reformat your card. Either one of those things should fix the problem. Give it a shot. Let me know how that works out for you in the comments, and uh, let me know what kind of card you're using and what the experiences you've been having. All right, talk to you later.